Also in the news, it is not yet clear if the Nigerian Customs Service has carried out a major examination on the container laden with guns and ammunition discovered over the weekend. The NCS had said there would be a proper examination of the container to ascertain the number of guns and the type of ammunition in it, while also ensuring that the owner of the container is fished out. Elia Plus TV Africa uh, spoke with the Lagos State PRO of the Nigerian Customs Service attached to the Tin Can Island port. Uche Isijeme is on this, uh, uh, well, he was, was spoken to on this issue, and this is what he had to say. The work in progress. The truth is that uh, even the best of technologies, best of the countries with the uh, you know, state of the art technologies, they still beat their system. For instance, the U.S. is still having issues with their border with Mexico. You know, some people involved in illicit uh, drug transactions. So, but for customs, it's a, it's a, it's a kind of a work in progress because we have deployed all manner of systems to check this kind of illicit, uh, illicit uh, uh, import. You know, we've actually gotten scanners, but the scanners are yet to be fully deployed. Because uh, there are certain parameters and conditions that need to be met. So we are hoping that by the time customs uh, goes uh, 100% and e automation, full automation, by the time we go into full automation, some of these things can be mitigated. But meanwhile, we are not letting our gas down. We are insisting on thorough examination. And that was why our operators were able to stumble in, uh, on this container, which we are still uh, conducting examination on. So we are not leaving any stone unturned. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.